In this video, we are going to create luminosity masks in a really easy and really visual way. Now, luminosity masks are basically just simple masks that kind of allow you to uh, manipulate uh, your image based on a luminosity range. Now, usually people go into the channels panel and try to generate their luminous, luminosity masks from there, which is, you know, a viable option. I mean, it works and you can do it from there. But the problem with that is, let me just show you. So if you control click on RGB or command click, you get these marching ants and this is just uh, your first selection. And then you can uh, expand it by basically holding down the shift along with the control or command and then clicking. And this is just going to expand the selection and you will, you can kind of manipulate it and you can kind of see where it goes now you know it's it's the same problem marching ants are not really vis visual you know you can see them and but once you create a mask from this it's not going to be the same okay because it doesn't show up but it's not a straight um cut off from from the edge of the, the marching ant it's more like a feathered uh, selection which is not vis visible on this uh, selection okay so let me just deselect it and let me show you the way i like to do it now this is not a non-destructive way but still it's just so easy and simple that it can kind of uh, work uh, instead of the uh the more cumbersome, uh, what is that? The more cumbersome, uh, non-destructive way, okay? Okay, so as I said, it's going to be quite visual, so let's just do it. This is an image from Unsplash once again, and uh, there's nothing wrong with this image. I just, you know, I just chose this to demonstrate luminosity uh, mask. Luminosity masks are usually applied to landscapes, but you can use them anywhere. You can use them for portraits. You can use them for product photography. They are they have many um, usages, but mostly the first and foremost that I would actually think of using luminosity mask would be at, on uh, landscape images. Okay, so here is what you do: you go down here and create a gradient map map adjustment layer. Now, I know that in my past videos, I created a bunch of gradient maps, so you can go back and see how they work. But in this one, and, I'm, and once again, I'm not obsessed with gradient maps, but they are really, really good tools. But uh, for this, we are going to use them as well. So I'm clicking on the uh, gradient here, and I can even, even close that. And what's really important now is that you need black and white values, because that's going to help you uh, create these masks because if you think about it masks in Photoshop are, are, are uh, you know black and white and anything in between okay so not colored so you need black and white and that's what I have here now luminous masks as I mentioned uh, are kind of like um, show a range of luminance in an image now that's what we need to do now this range if you think about it now what you see in front of you this black and white image just think of it as a mask okay and if it is a mask what it says is where it's darker it's not going to show up and where it's lighter it's going to show up okay so now what we need is we need to set the areas where i want my mask to um uh, make my layer visible and i want to set it where i don't want it to be visible basically and it's really simple so if i want like a higher range like the sky and the brighter parts to be selected i would just drag this one uh, the black one up here and as you can see it kind of kind of cuts off the darker the uh, darker midtones the darks and the shadows uh off okay so they they are just cut off and you have this in in light color. Now I can even, oops, not that, but I can even move this one if I want them to be a bit brighter, which will make and help our selection to be not like that, but you know, like a full white where I want them to be more white, okay? Now, as you can see with that, we almost created our first luminosity mask and it's just really intuitive and it's really visual and really easy okay so you don't need to like click 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 on the channels you already have it in front of you and you can see it with your own eyes you don't you don't have to kind of estimate it or guesstimate it but let me show you how it becomes an actual um mask okay and let me just fine tune it 
I don't want that. I want more of the black here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's say something like that. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. All right. So now that we have this gradient map, let's say that I want this uh, luminosity mask to be applied to a curves adjustment layer. So let's just create a curves adjustment layer here. I have that. I can close it for now and make sure that my selection, this frame around the corners, is on the mask itself, on the curves mask. Okay. Now, if I go up into image, and I hit apply image, just make sure that it's on merged and RGB and multiply in 100%. So these are basically the default values. So make sure that it's that and hit OK. Now what happened, as you can see, is that it generated, it basically applied the image that you could see, that you can see, into the masks. So now it's on, it's on the mask and basically what we set with the gradient map, okay? Because right now I'm I'm on the mask. I, I hold down alter option and click on the mask, and that's where I am. I'm in the mask, okay, or on the mask, whatever. Um, however, now if I start manipulating it, I still have my gradient map visible. So I need to turn that off because right now I don't need that to help me. So I just turn it off. And now as you can see, uh, curve's not doing anything because nothing is set. I only have the mask on there. So what you need to do is you basically just do whatever you want. So I just go into my curves and let's say, okay, so I want these brighter values to be a bit darker, like that. Okay, maybe a bit more of the blacks. And I'm just, you know, working the luminosity mask. That's it. I'm just trying what I like. Okay, so this is what I did. Let me see, before and after. And this was only applied to this really, really, these bright areas that you can see in white, okay? Now, sometimes you have artifacts introduced because this is a uh, JPEG, which is not a really great quality at that. And you see the artifacts and you see these dots and stuff. So sometimes you need to apply a bit of uh, blur to the mask itself. So it's really simple. You go into the, you select first, select the mask, and then you go into the mask so you see what you're doing. So alter option and click, and then go into filter, blur and Gaussian blur and you just you're just trying to make it a bit soft so it's not as as harsh so maybe you one or two or something like that let's go with two for this and go out now not all masks will require you to soften them with Gaussian blur and not all masks will take the one value of the Gaussian blur they might need 10 or 0.5 or something like that you have to uh, try that yourself okay so after this, we can create even, you know, other uh, luminosity mask as well. Now you can, you can leave the gradient map where it is, or I like to move it up so that I have this visual um, separation between the gradient map and the curves layer and any other adjustment layer, because this is just my help. So I can even name this luminosity hell. I can't type. Apparently no one can type when they're doing a tutorial. Okay. So, or spell. So I can just make this visible and double click and then click on the gradient. I can close it again and I can manipulate it. Now, let's say I want the darker part selected. For that, I need to change, invert these color stops. So I want the white to be down there and I want the on the left side and I want the black to, ought to be on the right side, okay? And I can do the same thing. I can just select the parts I want. And if I think it's just too feathered out, I can just move the white up here. So we have a fuller value, basically. Okay, let's say I like that mask and I'm hitting OK. And again, just a new curves adjustment layer. I don't even need to close this. Just make sure that it's, the mask is selected. Go into image, apply image. The values are, are OK. Hit OK. And now it's generated and I don't need the luminosity help. And there it is, that's my mask. So let's say I want to lighten that area like so. Okay, before and after, I'm kind of creating an HDR look in a way. So this was the before and this is the after. Okay, now if I go into the mask, 
I can see that it's jagged bit and I'm just going to go into filter blur Gaussian blur and let's just go with the 1.5 for this okay that's there you go so now I have these masks and this was the before and this is the after again so now you can see that luminosity masks are really really powerful but sometimes people are too afraid to use them and they use plugins for them that will generate these masks for them which is okay you can make your own actions but you don't have to these are really really dirt simple okay now let me just mention this one thing that if you really wanted to make this uh, non-destructive you would not use gradient maps you would use something else which is called the blend if parameter on in the uh, blending options I, i've actually showed this i think in the grain tutorial before but let me just mention it quite briefly but i don't really use that because it's not as visual as it can be so what i usually do if i if i wanted to use that let's say i want i want to darken the sky even more okay so i would create a new curves layer because I would want to darken something I would bring it down to darken it like let's say that value now as you can see it darkens the whole image but now I can separate it if I double click or, or right click and go into blending options in the blending options I have the blend if panel now I can use the disk layer or the underlying layer um, sliders and for this I would need to use the underlying layer okay because i want to say that okay if the underlying layer is darker than this then don't show up so i'm just going to move the slider here up there about it as i as i it's you know it's starting to cut into the sky that's what i don't want because i wanted to make the sky darker right so let's see where the border is or where the edge is maybe there I'll just move it Okay, maybe something like that. And now to make it a bit feathered, I can move it like so. Okay, and this is another before and after. Now, as you can see, this is non-destructive because if I double click or right click on blending options, so if I go back into the blending options, I can, I can move this again and do stuff with it while with the other one, it's just a mask. So it's basically, you should decide which way you want to go so if if you're not sure about your mask maybe you would need to go into the blend if route but if you if you maybe want to let's say here is my my before mask and i don't want this lake to be darker okay so what i can do is i go into the uh, mask and i can get a paintbrush and i can just you know draw black there and if i go back you can see oops not that you can see that it, it's I have the highlight again in the lake so I can manipulate it as well so it's not completely destructive because we are using masks and you can generate those masks quite simply by going into this uh, gradient map again and also don't forget that it's quite a, a, a useful feature is that you can go into the gradient map and you can save these uh, gradient maps out so you can manipulate the mask and if you don't like that you don't have to think about okay i don't know where these color stops were you can just jump in and choose those presets that you saved with this new button okay so it's quite simple as that um one more thing is something um what happens if you want to just select the midtones right because let, let me just show you something so you try to select the midtones but you can see that the uh, dark areas the shadows are also going to be white which is if we think about the masks it's not going to be good because masks need to be black if we don't want those things to show up right okay it's really simple you just need another color stop so I click here under the uh, gradient strip and that creates a new color stop and I'm going to turn that into black now as you can see what I have is I can move my my midpoint basically where I want and I, I can even frame it with these uh, ones so I would say that I don't want the sky because that's the bright area and I don't want these dark areas and I'm going to try to center it in a way it okay oops not that so we have that and let's say that we want to color the uh, the midtones so for coloring let's use um, 
for example, color balance. Why not? So I just open that and once again go into image, apply image, hit OK, make the luminosity help gradient map invisible. And now I have this mask, this one. It's, it's quite jagged. So go into filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And let's go with two because it's, it's quite harsh. Even three would work, I guess. Let's close this. Zoom out. OK, double click back into the image and let's just see what I want to do. Now, it's it's really doesn't matter where I manipulate this because it will only apply to those areas where I have the mask as a white or a bright color. So let me see what I want to do with this. OK, let's go that that way. I don't know why, but just make it a bit. I'm not trying to make it pretty. OK, I'm just I'm just showing you stuff that you can do. OK, this is already a really good image. So before and after, I can even turn this on to color before and after and the whole thing before and after. So as you can see, there are many options that you can you can many routes basically that you can take in order to generate these luminosity masks. I just showed you the one I prefer and I just showed you the next one, uh, the next uh, one that you can use, which is also quite good, but it's sometimes hard to grasp if you're not familiar with the blend if panel or the blend if attributes of your layers. OK, so don't forget luminosity masks are not only to control the luminosity, they are there to control certain elements of the image in the in a certain range of luminosity. OK. So that's why I colored the midtones, but I can I can just as well uh, darken them if I wanted to. I can even control click on this, which will uh, select the mask, make another, let's say, curves adjustment layer that would uh, have the same mask that my color balance. And now I can darken that if I wanted to. So really all the options you have. So before and after just, you know, you just have to know what you want to do with your image. But here it is, Luminosity Mask. Please use them. They are amazing. Now, if you have any questions regarding this, drop down, drop a comment down below. If you want to see other tutorials like this, check out my retouching in Photoshop series or subscribe to my channel and I will be back. And just like before, see you later.